Hi, I'm Mike Armigan. Just over three weeks to go until the start of the Premier League season and clubs up and down the country are getting their squads together. We're going to recap some of the biggest deals that have already gone through, starting with a big departure at Liverpool. It's the one we all could see coming. Yes, Glenn Johnson has joined Stoke on a two-year deal. Thanks for the memories, Glenn. Another one from Liverpool, and this has sort of gone under the radar, but apparently Raheem Sterling is off to Manchester City for £49 million. The whole thing started with him stalling on a new deal and then rejecting £100,000 a week. It's not about the money at all. I just want to, as I said, focus on football. It all came to a head when he told manager Brendan Rodgers that he didn't want to fly out with the squad to their tour of the Far East. Channeling his favourite 80s TV show, he respectfully told Rodgers, I ain't getting on no plane, fool. Now to the comings and goings at Manchester United, one of the busiest clubs in the transfer window so far. They've already brought in Matteo Damian and Memphis Depay, and now their summer spending has hit £80 million with two more signings. Morgan Schneidling from Southampton and Bastian Schweinsteiger from Bayern Munich. Very um, happy to be here to play for Manchester United. Schneidling, Schweinsteiger, very similar names. Uh, reports that United are interested in buying Wesley Schneider, Andre Schürrle, Mark Schwarzer, Kasper Schmeichel and the whole of the Schalke team are as yet unconfirmed. One big outgoing at Old Trafford, Robin van Persie. These were the scenes in Turkey where he arrived to finalise a move to Fenerbahce but his departure has caused one four-year-old fan to break down in tears. <laughs> He's not the only one getting upset about a move after 25 years at Real Madrid. Goalkeeper Ika Casillas is moving to Porto and it was all a little bit too much for him. Sticking with goalkeepers and some sad news to report, the end of the career of Asmir Begovic. No, he's not retiring, he's going to Chelsea for £8 million where he'll be number two behind Thibaut Courtois. Now some Newcastle United news and renowned vocal comedian Steve McLaren has been trying to perfect his Geordie accent but it all seems to be taking its toll. Absolutely, 10 days of uh, working on the field and as you can tell, uh, losing it. Maybe it was just the shock of the club actually spending some money that had Steve losing his voice. That's after Jorginho van Alden arrived from PSV Eindhoven for £14.5 million. That's all for now. If you want to keep right up to date with the latest transfer gossip, visit the BBC Sport website, the BBC Sport app, or find us on social media.